Hey, good morning, friends. Today is Friday. Uh, it is the 31st of May. I uh, hope you are well. hope the week has gone well for you. Uh, today we're looking together uh, at Psalm 74. Psalm 74. This is another psalm that is, um, it, it's a prayer of both remembrance and petition. There is a petition in it. It's actually a pretty strong one. <laughs> the, the psalm's going to start, God, why have you rejected us uh, forever. Um, it will resolve. This is one of the Psalms that starts in a, in a dark place, but resolves into a place of confidence. And we'll hear that as the, as the Psalm goes on. And the, 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 the thing that allows resolution to come in the mind of the, of the one praying is by remembering the deeds of God, by remembering how God has moved in the past in this person's life. And so you'll hear sort of a, a history lesson that comes in the midst of this. It's a, it's a remembering, this is how God has worked in my life in the past, in our lives in the past. And so we can be confident that God will do that again. So let's listen together uh, for the words, uh, for the word of God to us through Psalm 74. O oh God, why have you rejected us forever? Why does your anger smolder against the sheep of your pasture? Remember the nation you purchased long ago, the people of your inheritance whom you redeemed, Mount Zion, where you dwelt. Turn your steps towards these everlasting ruins, all this destruction the enemy has brought on the sanctuary. Your foes roared in the place where you met with us. They set up their standards as signs. They behaved like men wielding axes to cut through a thicket of trees. They smashed all the carved paneling with their axes and hatchets. They burned your sanctuary to the ground. They defiled the dwelling place of your name. They said in their hearts, we will crush them completely. They burned every place where God was worshipped in the land. We are given no signs from God, no prophets are left, and none of us knows how long this will be. How long will the enemy mock you, God? Will the foe revile your name forever? Why do you hold back your hand, your right hand? Take it from the folds of your garment and destroy them. But God is my king from long ago. He brings salvation on the earth. It was you who split open the sea by your power. You broke the heads of the monster in the waters. It was you who crushed the heads of Leviathan and gave it as food to the creatures of the desert. It was you who opened up springs and streams. You dried up the ever-flowing rivers. The day is yours and yours also the night. You established the sun and the moon. It was you who set all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. Remember how the enemy has mocked you, Lord, how foolish people have reviled your name. Do not hand over the life of your dove to wild beasts. Do not forget the lives of your afflicted people forever. Have regard for your covenant because of the haunts of violence fill the dark places of the land. Do not let the oppressed retreat in disgrace. May the poor and needy praise your name. Rise up, O God, and defend your cause. Remember how fools mock you all day long. Do not ignore the clamor of your adversaries, the uproar of your enemies, which rises continually. gospel reading uh, today comes from Matthew 13, 24 through 30. Now Jesus put before them another parable. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to someone who sowed good seed in his field. But while everybody was asleep, an enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and then went away. So when the plants came up, and bore grain, then the weeds appeared as well. And the slaves of the householder came and said to him, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where then did these weeds come from? 
And he answered, an enemy has done this. And the servants said to him, then do you want us to go and gather them? But he replied, no, for in gathering the weeds, you would uproot the wheat along with them. Let both of them grow together until the harvest. And at harvest time, I will tell the reapers, collect the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burned, but gather the wheat into my barn. I invite you to join me as we go to God with our prayers of intercession uh, as well as petition. Let us let us pray. I think God, as the rising sun chases away the night, so you have scattered the power of death and the rising of Christ. You bring us blessings in him. We thank you today, especially for the ministry of word and sacrament. We thank you for those who serve and care for others. We thank you for the affection of our friends. We thank you for your call to love and serve one another. We thank you for the presence and the power of your spirit. I invite you to lift up your your own other prayers of thanksgiving. Now, God, with the dawn of your love, you reveal your victory over all that would destroy and harm. You also brighten the lives of all who need you. Today, we pray for the church throughout the Pacific region of the world. We pray for those who are dealing with sickness, those who are dealing with sorrow, We pray for those who suffer from mental anguish, depression, and anxiety. We pray for all who seek the way and the truth of Christ. Holy God, your love is higher than the heavens. Your grace is wider than the sea. Awaken our hearts to the joy of your presence and open our lips to sing your praise. To the glory of Christ Jesus, our Lord, we pray. Amen. It's good to be together, friends. I hope you have a great day into the weekend. Blessings to you, to those you love, to those who love you. Uh, Look for the presence of God moving throughout the, the course of your day. Good to be with you. See you soon.